Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video that I haven't seen on YouTube yet, and that's how to play NHL 18 with a poor connection or a fair connection. Basically, just lag in general. I'm going to be going over some tips that have helped me because I also am a victim of poor lag in every game, but I've managed to survive this season in LG with it, and I'm going to share my secrets in this video. So these tips are mainly going to be focused towards EASHL, but I guess you could use them in other game modes. Uh, you'll just have to kind of modify what these changes exactly are and what they mean. Now I play goalie, but I'm going to do skater and goalie tips. I'll start off with three skater tips and then I'll give you guys a goalie tip at the end to sort of kind of smooth out the uh, flow. So the first skater tip is you don't want to hold on to the puck for very long. Actually, you really don't want to hold on to it all. Uh, you won't be able to make split second decisions and your stick handling won't be quick because you have that delay. Maybe it's half a second or even a quarter of a second, but either way that that tiny half a second really makes a difference uh, in your playmaking ability and your peaking ability. If you're someone who has consistently good ping, uh, usually playing the game and you all of a sudden have fair connection, you won't be able to play the way that you normally would because it's a very easy way to turn the puck over if you try and stick handle through a crowd of people. Uh, maybe you'd be able to on good connection, but you won't get away with it on for poor or fair. Tip number two is to pass a lot, and this goes hand in hand with tip number one. You want to be passing a lot because it helps you get rid of the puck very quickly and it doesn't give your opposition the chance to take it from you. More times than not, you'll be the only person in the lobby with lag if you're playing EASHL, so you can dish it off to a teammate that maybe has good connection and maybe they can probably do something with the puck. This is just a general good tip to have anyways as you want to be passing a lot as a team. Uh, you really want to focus on teamwork, but especially when you have uh, bad connection because you're going to give the puck away really easy if you hold on to it. So my last tip for skaters is you want to play conservative and cautiously. Try not to dive in to a forecheck by yourself and don't be the last person to dive in on the back check. It's very important to play team centered when you have bad connection and because of this you should really focus on your defense rather than your offense all game because you're much more effective poking the puck away from an attacker than you are trying to deke through two guys and route to a shot on goal. So as long as you don't hold on to the puck, pass a lot, and if you just play really defensive and cautious, then you should have a pretty easy time in EASHL as a skater. But I can't forget about my goalie brothers out there because bad lag is killer for a goalie, uh, as you need that good connection speed and reaction time to make cross crease saves and bail your team out of a nasty situation. My only tip for goalie would be to don't move as much as you would if you had good connection. Try to play more centered in your net and you should also try and play a little deeper in the crease. Uh, while this does increase the risk of you being sniped, you'll be able to keep up with the play better when the opposition passes it around in your own zone. Also, you should try to avoid the right stick entirely unless it's a glove side cross crease desperation save uh, because the right stick butterfly slide will pull you out of position and your lag, your delay will cause you to not get back in net quick enough and top teams will punish you for this. Like I said, these tips are mainly centered towards EASHL, but you could use them in HUT or online versus, uh, but these were just some general guidelines that you should uh, keep in mind whenever you're playing and you have that yellow bar, that red bar connection up at the top. I think we can all agree that EA servers are pretty garbage uh, and until they get fixed, we're just gonna get shafted. But hopefully these tips can help you survive a little better in online play, especially in LG or VG or any other online EA SHL league. Uh, they've helped me a lot. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed it. I really do hope these tips helped. If they did, leave a comment down below telling me how that helped you. And also, if you have more tips, leave them down in the comments below as well, and I will try to respond to all of you. But other than that, I thank you all for watching this video. Take care, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.